Today I'm here with Tom Vogel, a professional photographer with over 30 years in the industry. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being with us here today, Tom. Yeah, what a pleasure, John. Now, Tom, I have some questions for our sellers out there. Mm -hmm. Firstly, why is it important to get your home photographed by a professional? Okay, everyone's got a camera. Everyone can take pictures. Just go to Instagram and Facebook and you'll see what I'm talking about. And everyone thinks of the professional because look at my picture, it looks great. It's a picture of my sandwich at lunch. Yeah, and you can take amazing photos with these cam with the devices we have for sure. Um, however, the difference between taking snapshots of scenes and telling a story is a it's it's night and day. So I'm a storyteller, not a photographer, believe it or not. Hmm. That's a confession I have to say right now. I am not a photographer, I'm a storyteller. It just so happens that photography is the medium I love using most. So a professional photographer will take the story elements to any shoot they go to. It won't be just about capturing the big scene, it'll be about capturing the ambience, the attitude, the soul of the home that you're, you're selling. That's extremely important. Yeah, I think so. Now, what are some things that set you apart? I know that there's some tools that you use that uh, we've mm. used in the past. Uh, what are some things that you have that differentiate you from other people? Okay, so first of all, in this industry, we all have the tools that are necessary to do the job. So you'll have every possible tool you can throw at, you know, at, at this industry. And, and myself, my competitors, we all have what we've got, we've got to do. But the thing that sets anyone apart from anything is the personal imagination, the, the eye that you have towards the job that you do. So. Technology, schmechnology. I love it, but let's be honest, it's just a tool to tell a better story if it's used correctly. This is one of my tools, I will say right now. The drone. One of many drones. You'll see them all over the place. Many photographers are out there right now using these. Again, it's how you use a drone that makes a difference. You could take this drone up and shoot a Google Maps shot of the home. Well, you could just go to Google Maps for that, right? Save some money, John. Save some money. Or you could tell a story of the space. Because let's be honest, nobody buys a house alone. They buy the neighborhood. They buy the surrounding area, the location. This is what this tool is about, capturing location. And capturing in a way that if you're a professional photographer, you'll realize that the sun is like a studio lamp. And you have to sculpt that scene as much as you would if you were in a studio with, a, with taking portraits or if you're anywhere. So using this device as a photographic tool, not just as a digital flying with jigamajig uh, makes all the difference in the world. And yes, I do virtual tours, but in my virtual tours, again, I tell stories in a very different way because I'm a bit of a geek and an artist mix. I have this hybrid. I always like to push that envelope. So I've pushed it that you can actually do VR, where you can put headgear on and actually travel through an entire house just by using your eyes to navigate from room to room to room. That's fun, but even if you don't have gear, it's all usable on all these devices. Every device we have, from desktops to you know your little handhelds, and it's just again telling better stories. Um, thank you to digital, but I'm like I say, I'm not impressed by the technology. I'm impressed by the story that we can tell with it. And that's really important as well. You want to make sure that someone feels at home. Mm -hmm. So another thing, and lastly, what would you recommend to do to your home before it gets photographed to to prepare it? Okay, this is a really good question, and here's a very simple answer. Please, please do not spring clean. I know you think the night before, the photographer's coming in the morning, it's gotta look picture perfect, and people run up till three or four in the morning and they get in the fights and, you know, and, and, and border on divorce just because they want that house to look amazing. Well, guess what? That's my job, to make your house look amazing. Uh, all you have to do is just declutter it. You could have handprints or the face print of your child on a window. You won't see that if I'm shooting it well. That's not gonna be an issue. I use light and contrast and I can make your house gleam and sing in the lens. So don't worry, go ahead the night before, go to a movie, get to know your family, get to know their names. Have the good time that you have with them and don't worry about the next morning shoot because I'll handle that and just keep it clutter free. That's very good advice and I'm okay. sure people will really appreciate that. Thank you so much for being with us here today. I really appreciate it. What a pleasure, John. Great. If you need to reach me for any of your real estate needs, it's 905-522-3300. If you need to reach Tom for any of your photography needs, it's 519-242-0824. Thanks again for being with us here today, Tom. Hey, thank you.